playing the squat racks and eating out. Just guard in the mirror right now. I'm really eating that. I want the whole fucking aftertaste, you know what I mean? Like, Day 15 or 16 of daily vlogging on the new channel. It's already like 12.30, my fast cardio. Switching up my breakfast. I don't, I don't think we have cream. Do we have cream rice? No. Yeah, so I, I realized. So I just literally substituted with uh, 100 grams of rice, six ounces of ground chicken. And I've been on like my fried egg game these days. Fucking, these eggs, man, they fucking, they're so good. Kind of crack it open and like, the, oh. So I, I did overcook these ones a little bit, okay, but. Usually I like it so that like the yolk know, kind of busts all over there and completely bukkakes the hell out of my food. Anyone have ground chicken for breakfast, Brand? Do you have ground chicken for breakfast? Not real chicken. Chicken breast. Honestly though, I think I think eating like this to digest better. Keeps me no, it keeps me fuller. You know what's crazy? I eat my meals like mm. way more painful than you, you. Like I just have like a dry chicken breast with rice. Like you mix it up why? and make it more enjoyable. No, why do you do that? I don't know so why good. I do that, to be honest. No, I can't eat the dry ass chicken breast. Especially when you put it in the fridge, it's like fucking hard it's as a rock. Shit. Like you like do it where a point where it's like almost like a fucking taco bowl. No, that's good as fuck. Like the way you eat your like six ounces is so much more pleasing. Mm -hmm. If you're eating a lot of meat every day, it's like fuck. It's tiring. When you want to spend 30 minutes choking on it. That's what she said. Ha. If you're getting ready for a show, yeah. You know, but even if I'm getting ready for a show, it's like I'll put that sweet and, that sweet and spicy um, mustard on it. It's really good. And these are crack. Oh my God. It is a little bit. Are we just gonna go good life today? Let's just go good life. But then we can't film. My well, iPhone in. <laughs> or we could just bring the camera in there. Should we? Good life's like a, they're a little more strict on the filming in there. It's not like a private gym. It's like a commercialized gym here in Canada. So. I mean, it's hit or miss whether or not you're gonna get called out. And uh, it's supposed to be a snowstorm tonight too. It's not snowed at all this whole year so far, basically. It snowed like maybe, maybe five times and then melts within the next like six hours. I think this will be a lot of iPhone video today. We'll, we'll maybe we'll name this title like fucking filmed on an iPhone. <laughs> the vlog continues in the commercial gym. Here we go, this is actually the home gym where we all, basically, actually this is the second gym where I started training out when I first started training, but this is the gym where I made primarily most of my naughty gains. Here. We the top 10, UGK the major way not play it, it don't stop here. Traffic lights, we go and know the time. You're on like pretty light, eh? Yeah, I'm just going through this. Dude, I'm flat as fuck right now. I only on two meals. I'm gonna do, I was gonna, I was gonna do Devin's weight because he was the most strong, but I'm like, holy oh, shit. The other thing is too, my, I still feel my tricep a little bit, kind of like injured and weird. You can tell the difference. I think when you vlog every day, you have to pull. You shit. have to like pull shit like this. Yeah. Because that every day you're gonna have a fucking huge camera. Yeah, you can't bring the fucking 4K fucking setup. Find that fucking rope? There's no rope. Take it from this guy. Take it from this guy. He's got the rope. He's got the rope. He's got the rope right there. So one of the things Brandon wants to bring up the most is his arms. So he has a dedicated arm day now. You know, don't just do arms at the end of chest or back. Have its own fucking day as well. I decided to use Brandon to warm you guys up for me. Brandon's like the four play. I'm like the true fucking. Player. Brent just open up that flower, it let it blossom. He's just darting the mid right now, licking it and shit. And I'm the cock that goes in and just finishes the fucking film that powder, baby. But I'm on the top ten, gotta match my energy. You see, I'm in the top ten. Yeah, yeah, it's top ten. I've been so horny lately. It's actually fucking retarded. I'm going through like a phase. I haven't been in this phase in a long time. I'm really into eating ass. I've been going for it, like attacking it, like straight out of the gates. Like I just like have this like urge, and I like it with flavor too. But no. Sometimes I don't even want a little, I don't want it too fucking clean. A little bust. I want the whole fucking aftertaste, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I want to fucking eat something 20 minutes later, have a burp, and oh, it tastes like a little asshole. I think with asshole eating, oh. there's no like, it's not like wet or anything. It's just pure like in your head. It's whatever you make it. No, yeah, yeah, that's why I like, it's it's, because it. I have such a good imagination. Yeah, you like it because it's something that you shouldn't like. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, cur curling the squat racks like eating ass, you know, you just fucking like it. Just because you shouldn't like it. It's so wrong, it's good, basically. Just wanna go curl in the squat rack and then go eat some ass after? <laughs> Brandon's eating ass tonight. We're all going out tonight. Brandon said, I'm eating ass. We're terrorizing the, the local gym. This is the most OG machine. This, this machine has been in this gym since I was fucking, first joined it. And I think I was like 10 years old. No, not 10, I was in high school. I started training at 10, but I was at a different gym. I was 15 years old, I switched here. So this bicep machine is here since I was 15 years old. That's favorite. 
Let's just say this. This thing has mileage on it. Put, put, put G.O.D. first and nothing less, no On a radar per release, per request, yo Life is like a dice game, that's a bet, though Is you bugging, that's a dub, so let's drop Honestly, basically, every machine, everything in here has been in here Since I ever first signed up at this gym 11 years ago And the equipment in here, when I signed up Probably here for 20 years before that It's <laughs> fucked You should go for a dumbbell curl PR today Yeah, I heard you knocking, but my nigga, I am not here for the company you keep cause people mad with I will pull up on you and address it I am not scared We just looking down on these niggas from the top stairs We been dropping back to back to back but it don't stop here People love to tell me their opinion I do not care I always tell people if you want to get bigger arms The best exercise to do is go heavy on dumbbells like hammer curls Like get Strong on barbell curls. If you if you can curl a good amount of weight with the dumbbells and the barbells, you'll have bigger arms. That's what I'm doing. Go, girl. Like do like th those are like the compound movements of arms. That's what I'm doing. That's what's all that's that what's squeezing. Gonna, bullshit. That's what's gonna get them thick. Yeah. Bigger. You know, doing doing the preacher curl and shit once in a while is good. Just get the blood in there. But these are better once you have the size on. Them. Yeah. Like if like you every every part of my body part just needs thickness. Keep body in these tracks, man. It is not fit. Way that God keep blessing me, protected by my mom's prayer. Blessed. Hit my own bubble like a mom clear. Yeah. Count the money, make it shit. Here's a front double, mid gym, front double. Uh, I can't. My biceps are so shit. It's like painful how shit they That's are. That's good. I can tell you how it's good. Get in there. Yeah. 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 UGK to major way, not play it. It don't stop. It don't stop. Traffic lights, we going. No, the time at 10 o'clock. No, yeah. the time. Roll, we doing digi. Do you ever think that like the people with the best like things like you know you have the best like really the really good biceps and shit yeah you're like I need some of those uh, bicep workouts it's probably like, really yeah. good it's just genetics but you're, you're, like, you're like I don't do arms the people with that have the best like body parts it's probably their least the, yeah thing. it's probably the body part that they probably have the worst workouts with yeah. to be honest with you if someone has like a crazy crazy back they probably don't do anything crazy to it they probably yeah. don't even hit it that bad you know it's like if someone has crazy calves right. So just, I gotta do what he's doing for calves. That guy probably just has really good calf genetics and probably has the shittier calf workout than most people do. Shittier. You know what I mean? You'll see people that have the best calf genetics are usually people with like small to like decently good calves. Yeah. And they grind it for every pound of muscle. And you can't really tell if they're good calves. Low yeah. Key. yeah. They probably have the best calf workouts. The guys that have like huge fucking calves probably train the least. Probably just fucking mow the lawn like those dads. They just go mow the lawn and get a fucking huge calf. I'm going to probably runners, going to hike or some shit. It's gross. The best ankle stability in the world. No, does that relate to sports now? Do people, is LeBron maybe just still got basketball? Like, does he really have the best workouts? Or is it like the bench warmer? Does the bench warmer who's grinding have yeah, the best workouts? Maybe. Certain people, they have to grind so hard to get where they are. And other people, they just have like such great talent, you know, and they grind like half as much effort. Like, you know, if you see LeBron, they're like, the thought has an intense workout regime. Yeah. I guarantee you, like, a six man works way harder or something like that. Oh, like, oh probably, like, probably, yeah, someone that works harder for sure. Okay, guys. We got fucking noodles. Are <laughs> you supposed to put this in here? I don't think this came in the last time. If you want, yeah. So, do we eat it first before we put this in to see how much you want? I usually put it all in. Did you took your head already? Yeah. That looks so yum. Yeah, there's a lot Let's of Take a first bite. This definitely needs hot sauce. Obviously. I don't know if I'm ready yet. I feel like it's hot. Okay. Guys, we're filming from the iPhone, so the quality looks a little different and the audio is a little shit. The thing is, like, I filmed on the iPhone before, and you, you really notice how much the mic on the camera does. It works, I know. Because, like, yeah, this, so you, you almost clear. have to fucking scream for people to hear <laughs> sometimes. That's why I like the, that's why I like the mini mics. Yeah. It's so fun. You should get them. Let's go for the daily vlog. This is the thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna add a little bit more, but it's so good. You want more hot sauce? Um, yeah, another one. Go in with the initial taste test. Just gonna taste the broth to see. Yeah, I think I'm gonna be good. Fuck, baby. Shit, I'm fucking horny. Vlog continues at home. My ugly ass oh. face on the cam. Yeah. Post workout bloat. Saw Brandon's girlfriend doing the dishes. Brandon, who would you rather sleep with? Olivia or Tay? Same, bro. I don't want to say anything. It's fucking weird. This game's weird. Because well, anything, any answer I say just comes back to haunt me. Any. Brandon's always been a mom, mama's boy. He's a mommy fucker. That's right. Fuck. You're a mommy fucker. I don't know how that led to that. You're a mommy <laughs> fucker. Have you, have you seen all your friends' moms? What one would you oh. sleep with? <laughs> <laughs> really? For my pink like my pussy shirt. 
I was going to toot for Louie. Brandon looked like he's about yeah. to fuck. <laughs> really? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I was like, you don't realize this guy's until someone says this it. This guy's out of the grip in a fucking <laughs> beach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When I first went on, I had 20% of thoughts of that. Like, yeah. is it kind of. He looks kind of gay. And then I'm like, the Devin said, I'm like, okay, this. That, that looked like you were like just like seeing everyone to loom right now. I mean, it was a really nice outfit, it's not for the occasion. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's like, I don't know what said it, but like I would have thought it's like, bro, where the fuck are you I, going? At first, yeah, like, yeah, I thought they things. were like white cargo oh, pants. So I was like, oh, okay. Like, if I bet they were white linens. <laughs> you know what I, mean? I think it's the white, yeah, the white linens. Were they white linens? No, they're, they're, they're white cargo. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. the white cargo is just not with the t shirt, hmm. the white shirt. So this one with mothballs. Mm, it's because you're. You know when jeans kind of smell like that? Maybe it just might be your laundry. No, it's like the, it, when Devin got it out of the package, I smelled these. Oh yeah, really? that's a brand new smell. It's smell like fucking mothballs. Notice that too? Yeah, when I first got them, it smelled weird. Just spray cologne on them. Yeah, I don't think it's that big of that. I mean, unless you're trying to get a blowjob and she's gonna unzip your pants and <laughs>